What is up guys, Andy Forest Team Runner here, back with another video. And today we're going to be unboxing the second running shoe that we are going to be testing next week or the week after. But before we do that, a bit of strength training is in order. So yes, welcome back to another video. And today, as I said, we've got some shoe unboxing to do, but first and foremost, strength training is on the cards. So here's the deal for you new subscribers who don't know what I normally do for strength training, probably up to a year ago until the pandemic hit, I was going to the gym twice a week. Obviously since then, the pandemic's hit. We've had a baby and uh, I haven't really found time to go back to the gym, but as the goals get loftier, so we need to work on those weaknesses. Now for me, as you know, and so many of you are so kind, I don't know why more of you don't comment on it, but uh, my posture is not great. It doesn't help that I'm six foot six and work at a computer, but either way, my posture is not good. You saw that clip of me at the end of the marathon. I was really hunched over. So I'm making an effort now, as of today, to start going back to the gym once a week, just baby steps back into it. At the end of the day, we need to get working on these weaknesses. We need to get back strong again. If we want to run strong and have these lofty goals, we need to be finishing strong in races. And I sure as hell won't be finishing strong if my back is playing up as it is. So we're off to the local gym. I'm only starting off with half an hour. I want to make this manageable. I want to make it work for me. I want to make it work for the routine, the family, the baby. So I'm trying to get to the gym and back in 50 minutes. 10 minute walk there, half an hour at the gym, just purely today, working on the upper back, 10 minutes home. And fingers crossed, we should have a good session and hopefully I'll be rather achy tomorrow. Okay, gym session please, if that's all right. Oh. Lovely. Cheers, buddy. Thank you very much. Gym session done, and that was brilliant. That was all within 25 minutes. I'll go through it in a second, but look at all this ball damage. So the grass track that normally gets marked out every summer term is up on this field. And I've just come to see if it's all marked up. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is a big fat no. Look at all of this wild boar damage. So gutted. We don't have a summer grass running track. Anyway, after that disappointment of the grass track, so that was really good, like half an hour done. And that for me is gonna work perfectly. I'm gonna be back in 50 minutes and it's just gonna work well for me to slot in every week. So that was six exercises on four machines, I think it was. So we did the chest press, the shoulder press. I know the chest press isn't that much for the back, but I like doing it. Chest press, shoulder press. Then we use that big machine that I have no idea what it's called with the two cables on it where I pulled it from behind me. Again, to work on the back, I was shown that that was a good exercise. I've been doing that one. That one, for me, out of every single exercise I do, that I feel really fires my back up perfectly. 
so we did that one then we did the oblique pulls where i was pulling it on on the same machine on the single hand and then we did the lap pull downs that's five and then i moved on to the battle ropes at the end so it was just six exercises and with everything i just did three sets uh 12 reps in each set uh just starting back at the basics i worked myself up to four sets of 20 before of everything and much height heavier weights than that so you can see how much strength i've lost or i mean that was relatively hard and i know i'm going to be sore tomorrow but if we just get consistency once a week half an hour that's how it starts and then we can build on that so i'm really really happy i feel like i'm standing up taller already yeah i know it's all in my head but if we keep working on the weaknesses, we will get stronger as a runner. I definitely over the last year have felt so much weaker without all this gym work. So, great start. Now, let's go and get this shoe. we have the second shoe in for testing now this shoe has been gifted i will explain all very very shortly i won't show you the address in it in this side i can't wait to open this up and show you guys what it is hopefully if you can see me hopefully this is going to be absolutely ideal for our half marathon training or so i've been told so we shall see let's get back and open it up okay back home shower changed from the gym i'm so excited to show you these shoes but i've got to say it is actually the next day when i'm recording this and i've been for my run this morning and oh my goodness do you know what i felt so upright i just my back felt so so good i know it's only one session but do you know what i think sometimes the gym just even activates the muscles it gets them working again i'm sure a lot of the muscles in my back have been dormant for such a long time it just felt so so good it made me realize that I just need to get back to the gym. So once a week now, straight back to the gym and then we'll progress it from there when we get a chance. So let me show you these shoes. I'm just gonna give you a sneak peek straight away. All right, they're Puma. So here's the backstory. Nick, do you guys remember Nick who sent me the mystery shoes a few weeks ago? They ended up being the Nike Odyssey React Flyknit 2s. And the reason he sent me those was because he knows how much I dislike uh, the React midsole and he said you know what you've come into the React midsole lineup at the wrong time you need to try some of the older versions and I did and I love the shoes they're so so good and he sent me a message about a week ago and said Andy I've got some more shoes for you to review I want to send them as a gift to you to support the channel to say thank you for the videos and I want you to try these shoes basically and I was just like Nick I love you so much. Thank you for supporting the channel. It blew, it just, it blew me away once again. Nick is just, he's absolutely incredible. So Nick, what I want you to do is drop a comment below. I can pin the comment and then all of you guys can thank Nick for sending these to me because I mean, I appreciate this more than you realize. He did not need to do this, but I'm so excited for this because it's really funny. I was talking to Ed, Ed Bud, you guys know who Ed is, about a month ago about these Puma shoes. And I said, which one should I get? And I was talking to him about it. And they said, they're really, really good. And they were on such a good price at the time they were on offer. I think on some of the Puma models, they were like 70 quid, some are 90 quid. And you just think to yourself, gosh, do you know, if these are good when I test them, why do we invest in shoes like the Invincible and the Pegasus lineup? And shoes, well, not the Pegasus so much because they're not quite so expensive, but like Invincibles and the Ultra Boost 21s and all of this stuff at £160 for a daily shoe. We can get daily shoes like this. I'm saying this before I've even run in them, but I'm super excited to show you that we are going to be testing the Puma Liberate Nitro, baby. Absolutely unreal. So, in a UK size 13, these things come in at 239 grams, 8.4 ounces. These are the second lightest shoe I have ever run in. These are lighter than my next percents. Uh, the only shoe that's lighter is the Atreyu base model, which came in at 8.1 grams or 224 ounces or um, 224 grams, 8.1 ounces, something like that. So I am so excited to test these. Now I did put on the title of this video, new speed shoe to test. After speaking to Nick, I gather, because I haven't done my research on this shoe at all. It's kind of a daily shoe, um, but the how lightweight it is, it, I think it's gonna be absolutely amazing. And one of the reasons why Nick sent this to me is because it's a nitrogen infused midsole, just like the Hyperion Tempo. And just from squeezing it and feeling it, it feels just like the Hyperion Tempo, but it actually feels softer. 
than the Hyperion Tempo. And that's not where the similarities end. The outsole is also very, very similar to the Hyperion Tempo. This layout of this thin rubber, I mean, this is Puma Grip uh, rubber, but this is a very similar pattern to how the Hyperion Tempo has the outsole laid out. Just thin rubber there and there, exposed midsole elsewhere. And it kind of looks to have taken elements from the next percent with the tongue. Uh, again, very paper thin here, then a bit of padding here. What it seems to have done this shoe is kind of take the best of some of the good shoes out there and mash it all together. Um, and I'm just really excited to try it. So actually what I've decided to do, because I thought it was going to speed shoe and I was going to test it next week, but I was speaking to Nick, he was like, no, it's, it's a daily shoe. Give it a test on every pace. I'm going to take it out tomorrow for my easy run and I'm going to see how it fares. So I'm really excited. This will probably be the next video on the channel uh, for me to show you is my first impressions of this shoe. It's going to be a 40 to 45 minute easy run. Um, it's so lightweight. I am so excited to test this. And do you know what? If this is as good as I think it's going to be, this could be an absolute game changer. He said to me, I watched your video. I know you want some lighter shoes coming into half marathon training. You want some stuff for speed, you're going to want this type of shoe basically. So this is going to fit into the rotation nicely. And you guys know the shoe reviews I do on this channel are all about specifically my training. So I'll buy shoes that I feel are going to work with my training. I don't just buy shoes for the sake of it, for the name, anything like that. That's why I miss out on some of the big name shoes. I actually buy shoes that I think are going to work and this is going to fit in so, so well. So there we go. This is the next shoe that we're going to be testing, but actually it's going to be first. We're going to be testing this before the artist. I'll test the artist out next week. And then we've got our third shoe coming in next week for testing. And then that's going to be it for a while until next month when the Nova Blast 2 comes out. So yes, Puma Liberate Nitro. What a shoe this could potentially be. I cannot wait to share with you guys my first impressions. And once again, Nick, a massive, massive thank you for sending this to me. I literally, I'm just, I'm so excited for this thing. It looks Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. Anyway, I'll leave it there, we'll leave it there. We have some good strength training, we've done some good runs this week, and now we have an epic new shoe to test tomorrow. If you enjoyed today's video, guys, make sure you give it a like, share it with your friends, subscribe to the channel for weekly running content, and as always, I'll see you in the next one. Until then.